path to becoming a guitar hero is the noblest of paths. So let's find out if you have what it takes. First, you need to familiarize yourself with the instrument of your enlightenment. You should be holding the guitar so its face is away from you, and the neck is either to the left or to the right. So, tell me, will you be playing with the neck of the guitar to your left or to your right? Are you sure you want to play that way? Excellent. You can change the settings for how you're holding the guitar at any time in the options menu. Just toggle lefty switch on or off. Let's move on. This is your guitar. At the end of the guitar are the fret buttons. You use the fret buttons to choose the note you want to play. Over here is the strum bar. You press the strum bar up or down to play the note you have held down. Got it? All right, let's get you tuned up and ready. Play each note three times to get your guitar in tune. Yeah. Excellent. Your instrument is in tune with your soul. Now you can play for real. Alright, this is the highway. To play a note, you need to hold down the fret button for that note and strum when the gem reaches the strike line. Here's a tip. You can hold down the fret button before and after the gem reaches the target because it's not actually played until you strum. Go ahead, give it a shot. Sweet. To play a note of a different color, let go of the fret button for the first note you've played, hold down the next button, and strum when the gem reaches the strike line. Try it out a bit. play a long note, all you need to do is play the note and continue to hold down the fret button for the entire duration. ready to learn about chords. Chords are the result of playing two or more notes simultaneously. To play a chord, just hold the two fret buttons shown and strum to play as normal. Acknowledge the path should be clear. See me again when you're ready to learn more about becoming a guitar hero. You told you we were done, didn't you? We've still got a few things to learn before you're ready. This is an open note. On the guitar, it's the note played when no frets are held. 
he would know about these because only the basses plays open notes. To play an open note, don't hold any fret buttons and strum to play. Let's see what you can do. While you're playing, you might want some sort of indication of how well you're doing. Here it is. This is your rock meter. When the needle is in the yellow section, it means you're doing okay. When it's in the green, you're really rocking. When you're in the red, it means you're doing poorly. When the rock meter flashes red, it means you're in danger of failing the song. Missing notes will cause the rock meter to go down. The rock meter will also go down if you play notes that aren't there. And over here we have your score. Hit more notes and you'll score more points. Pretty simple, huh? Well, that completes the basic training. You should have the skills you need to become a guitar or bass hero. Ugh, who am I kidding? Chosen to continue the path. A wise choice. You notice how these gems are shaped like stars and glowing with energy. That means they're part of a star combo. To get star power, you have to hit all the notes in a star combo. Each star combo you hit will fill your star power gauge more and more. Remember, you have to hit all the notes in the combo to get any star power. Try it out. Here's a way to get even more star power out of star combos. Take a look. This is your whammy bar. Don't know how to use it? On long notes, push it in and out. It's that easy. If you use the whammy bar on long notes in star combos, you can extract more star power from the notes. Let's see you extract some star power. Now that you know how to obtain star power, it would be good to know how to use it. To use star power, either press the star power button or lift your guitar up and point it to the heavens. When star power is active, it will double your multiplier and you'll score more points. Let's see you do it. Use star power and hit these notes. star power meter doesn't have to be completely full to use it. If the meter is glowing, it's ready to activate. That's all there is to know about star power. Come back later if you want to learn some more stuff. Good, you're back. Now let me explain something about how a guitar works real quick. 
Holding down the fret button can be thought of as pressing the string against the neck of the guitar. The guitar doesn't make any noise until you strum and the string vibrates. If you're holding more than one fret, then the string only vibrates at the fret that is closest to you, the highest note. So, you don't have to worry about your fingers further down the neck of the guitar. Only the highest note counts unless you're playing a chord. This is key to hammer-ons and pull-offs. Here is something you'll need to know if you wish to continue on the path. After you strum a note, you can change the note without strumming again. This allows you to play a lot of notes, but only strum once. You hold down the green fret button to play it as usual, but for the next note, press or hammer on the red fret button without strumming, and again, hammer on the yellow fret button. You only need to strum the first note. Try it out. Yeah. Sweet. Right. Now let's try it in a song. Are you ready? Use hammer-ons to hit these notes. Here's a quick tip. The hammer-on notes look different. They glow white on top. Right hammer-ons can be tough, but they're worth mastering especially in fast passages. Now that you understand hammer-ons, you can learn about pull-offs. Pull-offs are pretty much the same as hammer-ons, but in reverse. After you strum the first note, you can change the note without strumming again. You hold down the yellow fret button and strum to play like always. Now, let go or pull off the yellow fret to get to the red without strumming then pull off the red to get to the green. By the way, you can hold down all three frets, strum the first, and pull off the others one by one. Let's see you do it. Yeah. Excellent. Now let's try it in the song. Let's see you use pull-offs to hit these notes. Pull-off notes look just like hammer-ons. They glow white on top. Right Next time you see the notes with glowing white caps, remember, hammer-ons and pull-offs. You'll be able to shred like never before. Do you remember what I taught you about long notes? Well, we're going to be working with them again. Extended sustains are long notes that extend past other notes. You'll only see these on hard and expert difficulties. They work similar to long notes, but after you hit one, you can strum the next while holding the first. Let's see you try it out. Let's try something new. These see-through gems indicate that you can use the slider on the neck of the guitar. To play these notes, move your finger along the slider, which you may have noticed is divided into five sections. A section of the highway will light up when you touch the slider. 
This will only happen when there are transparent gems. When the gems reach the strike line, you don't need to strum. You just need to touch the correct note on the slider. If your guitar doesn't have the slider, you can play them much like hammer-ons and pull-offs. However, unlike hammer-ons and pull-offs, you won't have to strum at all. Give it a shot. Perfect. Here's something else you might want to know. You can tap your fingers on the slider to strum instead of using the strum bar. Hold down the fret buttons and tap the slider to play these notes. On a long sustained note, you can slide your finger around to tweak the effects as you play. Give it a shot. Continue your journey to enlightenment. There are several ways to play Guitar Hero with your friends. You can engage your friends in face-off, pro face-off, or battle mode. You can play with them at home or across the world online. <laughs> face-off mode lets you compete against your friends for a high score. Once each player chooses their own difficulty, they take turns playing sections of a song. Pro Face-Off requires both players to play the entire song on the same difficulty setting. A Pro Face-Off becomes friendly when the players select difficulties that don't match. In all Face-Off modes, the players compete for high score. During Face-Off play, this indicator will show whose side the crowd is on. Face-off modes are for friendly competition. When you really want to take your gloves off and fight dirty, play battle mode. The goal in battle mode is to eliminate your opponent by causing them to miss notes. When you're battling against another player, you won't be using star power. Instead, you'll use battle power to take out your foe. Getting battle power is just like star power. Just try to get every note in the sequence. Try it out. secure the battle power, you can unleash it. The symbol shows what kind of attack you can use. Unleash it like you do with star power by tilting the guitar up. Do it now and get noticed.
Cyber battle mode gets tricky. There are a lot of different attacks. Some make it harder to hit notes, while others disable your equipment. Watch out! When they send it over, it will break one of your strings. To fix the broken string, you've got to tap the corresponding fret button repeatedly. You have to fix it quickly, because you won't be able to hit any notes with it while it's broken. It sounds simple, but in the heat of battle mode, you'll be glad you practiced. The best defense is a good offense. Fire off your battle powers to keep your opponent from earning your own. They'll be at your mercy. all about dominating your foe, and the best way to do that is by firing off a bunch of attacks at once. Like the two that you now have ready, the top one will fire off first, followed by the next, doubling the mayhem for your opponent. Do it and show them how you rock. Nothing left but ash and bone. You're a monster. Well played. By the way, you can have three power-ups at a time. Just remember, though, if no one wins before the end of the song, it goes into do or die. When this happens, the song starts over, but now it's even faster. Also, the attacks last twice as long, or require twice as many button presses. That's it. You should be able to survive out there with all that knowledge, and maybe even claw your way to the top. You know, lots of rock bands started out as friends playing together for fun. Starting up a band with your friends has never been easier. Band play lets you jam as a band together, in one room, or across the world online. Each player signs in and selects one of the four instruments. Remember, once an instrument is selected, it won't be available to the rest of the band. Each instrument has its own highway. The vocals are at the top. The drums and the two guitars are at the bottom. When playing a song, the band is working as a team. There's only one rock meter and everyone contributes. Just like the regular rock meter, it shows how happy the crowd is. Yellow is okay, green is good, and when it's in the red, you have to pull it together. Each member has their own indicator below the meter. It shows their individual progress so make sure that yours doesn't go red. Otherwise, you'll bring down the whole band. The band also shares the note streak. Once the streak is long enough, it'll show up on the counter and multiply your band's score. The more members, the bigger the score. Everyone has to be on top of their game for the band to work. And remember, there is no I in band. Well, the Finnish people spell it with an I. Oh, never mind. <laughs> gets star power in the normal way. It gets banked in the amp bulbs on the rock meter. When each band member activates their star power, the multiplier increases. So the more members with star power active, the higher the band's score. If everyone activates it at the same time, your band will really be rocking. Everyone's score goes up together, and if everyone is playing in unison, it'll go up even faster. Using it on your own might help save you if you're in the red, but will leave less star power for the band, so use it carefully. 
If you think your band is ready, you can go up against other bands around the world. Playing online is the only way to play band versus band. If you want to participate in these competitions but don't have a band, you can join up with other players online. Whichever band scores highest, wins. Uh -huh.